Welcome to XAR Template Tutorial Lesson 123 for the XAR Web Designer 9 Premium Software. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the previous tutorial for creating a fixed position button on your website that stays on the side of your screen no matter where you scroll at. And in this particular tutorial, we're going to focus on actually making those images show up when you preview it in XAR Web Designer. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is start a blank new document in XAR. And once you do that, we're going to look for those images on our computer. So I'm going to go to my file explorer and my images are located under the web design folder. But we're actually going to create a new folder and place those images in it. So I'm going to click on new folder and that may be different for you if you're on a different version of Windows. I'm on Windows 8 so all I have to do is click on the new folder option there. So I'm going to write the word buttons and I'm going to save that as the new file name and then I'm going to drag and select over these images and I'm going to drag them into the buttons folder and that's where we're going to place our images for our website. And the next thing I want you to do is go back to XR Web Designer and we're going to hit Control Shift W and we're going to bring up website properties. And under the page tab, which should be where you're at by default, we're going to look for the section that says HTML code insertion. And we're going to click on HTML code body. And in here, we're going to actually reference the images that's going to allow us to show those images on our website. In this case, we're going to use the image tab. So let's write angle bracket IMG, which stands for image, hit the spacebar key, write SRC, which stands for source, and then write equals. And then we're going to place the URL that's necessary to reference those images. So I'm going to write a quote and then I'm going to write buttons because we created a buttons folder and then forward slash then the word Twitter dot PNG. And remember, in the previous tutorial, we created an image called Twitter, all in lowercase, and then our file extension was PNG. And the period is always there. It must be there when you write Twitter. In the file extension, you have to put a period between the title or the, the file name and the file extension. So Twitter is the file name and then dot PNG is the file extension. And then we're going to put an ending quote on there. And then we're going to hit the spacebar key and write forward slash angle bracket. And that's how we're going to reference the Twitter image that we created in the previous tutorial. So go ahead and hit OK and then hit OK again. And that's the first part of referencing the image. But if we hit F5 to preview this, you'll notice that the image doesn't show up. In the upper left hand corner, we have an X where the image should be at. And the reason that we can't see the image is because we have to actually export the HTML files to our computer in order for XAR to recognize that there is a buttons folder that has our images in it. So let's go ahead and hit the X button. And then let's go ahead and go to File and then choose Export Website. And we're going to look for that web design folder that we created. Well, not we didn't create the web design folder, but we're going to go to whatever folder we have our images at. In this case, we have it in the buttons folder, but we're not going to actually click in there. We're going to export our files right outside of that buttons folder. So let me repeat that just to make sure there's no confusion. We're not going to actually go inside the buttons folder, but we're going to actually be right outside of the buttons folder. Okay, in this case, you should be able to see the word buttons in the folder that represents that. And you're going to export the files right outside of that. So let's go ahead and hit export and make sure that the save as type is set to HTML because you could accidentally select the wrong export option. So as long as it says save as type HTML, you're going to be exporting with the proper format. So go ahead and hit the export button and then hit F5. And you'll notice now when we preview the website, we're able to see the Twitter button in the upper left hand corner. So we're going to continue to repeat that process to reference the other images. So go ahead and hit Control Shift W to bring up website properties. And then we're going to click on HTML code body because we want this to show up in the body section of our website, which is basically a fancy way of saying what you're going to see when you visit the actual website. So we're going to hit the enter key to go down to the next line and we're going to repeat what we have but this time we're going to just change the name of the file and that's pretty much it. So we write angle bracket IMG, which stands for image and then space SRC, which stands for source equals. And then in quotes, we're going to write buttons for slash blog dot P 
PNG and put an ending quote space forward slash then an angle bracket and then hit the enter key and again we're going to write angle bracket IMG source equals buttons forward slash YouTube dot PNG spacebar forward slash angle bracket and that's how your information should look so make sure that yours looks similar to what I have on screen and make sure that it is in reference to what you have on your computer so once you have that set let's go ahead and hit OK hit OK again hit F5 and you'll see that well I've got one of the images referenced wrong so that's the importance of making sure that you have the right file name so I'm gonna to go to my web design folder and click in buttons and make sure that I named it correctly so it should be lowercase YouTube so let's make sure that I have the right thing in my code for the HTML placeholder so I'm gonna hit control shift W click on HTML code body and let's see if I did this correctly so I have source equals buttons forward slash youtube.png and for some reason it's not showing up so I'm gonna check and make sure I have everything right ah there we are you'll notice that on the end of here I didn't put a quote and this is why it's very important to make sure that you put things exactly how you see them on screen you'll notice that that quote wasn't there and it didn't show the image but now that I've added that quote in there if I hit OK and hit OK again and hit F5 you'll now see the YouTube image so it's very very important that you write the code exactly how I had it on screen or otherwise your images won't show up so that's how you create a reference point to the images to make them show up in your website and I hope that this tutorial was helpful and if it was don't forget to embed comment share subscribe and stay tuned for future tutorials